Hello everyone, this is Brooke and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it, as I do always. And I have not done a monthly favorites video in a while, but today I thought was a great day to get started back into the routine because there are five products that I just love this month. And if you are new to my channel, what I usually do during monthly favorite videos is I highlight the top five products that I couldn't live without or that I discovered or that I just fell in love with this month and I want to share with you. Before I get started though, I just want to point out one thing. I probably shouldn't point it out because I'm a little conscious of it, but if you notice my smile looks a di little different or I'm not smiling as much, it is because I recently got braces. They are the clear kind that you can't really see from afar, but I know they're there and I feel like there's all this stuff in my mouth and um, I tend not to smile as much and um, it's kind of like a bucket list thing for me. I always wanted them since I was a little kid, but it was something that we definitely could not afford when I was young. And now that I'm at the age where I can kind of do things for myself, I decided to go on and get them. Um, my little son got them too, so we're kind of braces buddies. So that's what's going on with, if you notice anything different with my look. And otherwise, I'll just go into the monthly favorites. The first one I want to point out is this guy right here. It is the Benjabel Brush Tree Rack. This is actually the mini one, and I love it. I also have the larger one, and it looks like this. It is great for washing when you wash your brushes to put them in upside down so that they dry correctly without getting water into the ferrule or the metal part here. They are perfect. Um, as you see, they come in pink. They also come in black. The prices for them are, let me see if I got it right here. For the mini one, it is $24.95. And for the original size, which is the larger one, it's $34.95. Or on the website, you can get both of them for $49.95. But these are great. Um, the mini one holds eye brushes perfectly and you just stick them up into the the groove that you know kind of bends out and um, set this on your counter and all your brushes can dry. Now the larger one holds larger brushes so like your your stippling brush or your foundation brushes. It even holds a kabuki brush very well. And those sit in there and you can let them all dry upside down so that the water and the moisture doesn't get into the glue that's holding the bristles into the brush holder and um, affect your brushes and they last a lot longer. So I love that. Um, the other thing I've been loving this month is the MAC Studio Tech Cream to Powder Foundation. I like using liquid foundation, but I find that this is much easier. It looks like this, and like I said, it's a MAC Studio Tech. It comes in a little a pot, and there's also another layer that you have the sponge in, but I don't use the sponge. I will show you what I use in a few minutes, but this is great. My color is NC50, and I love the way it covers. It gives a nice, even effect. I love cream to powder foundation when I apply those on other people. Um, it's just easier to work with for me, and it's also, I have a lot more control with areas. I can um, get it on and more concentrated for um, areas that have blemishes, or I can kind of smooth it around and put it on on a light layer. So. Light hand, heavy hand, it all works well, and I do love the way that this looks and feels. So Studio Tech by MAC is a new favorite of mine. And I like to apply that with another favorite of mine. I know this has been out for a little while, but it took me a while to get on board because I was using liquid foundation, and for that I like to use my stippling brush. But for this cream to powder foundation, I love this guy. This is the Beauty Blender sponge. And this is what it looks like in the container. And it comes 
it threw me off because when I saw them on YouTube videos, they were large like this. But in the store, I got this from Sephora, it was very small. That is because when you add water to it, it, it absorbs the water and gets larger. It is better to apply makeup with this and a damp. Like, rinse it and then squeeze all the water out you can. And then the dampness that's left is perfect for applying your makeup. With the cream to powder um, foundation, this works like a dream because it gives you an airbrushed finish that you are able to um, stipple with this, which is patting the makeup onto your skin, or you're able to blend and um, apply this on, smoothing it out, and for a lighter coverage. The stippling gives you the, the maximum coverage, the blending gives you a lighter coverage, and it also has this point which is great for getting your concealer or foundation under your eye and into the tight corners. So I just love this. It is what I use to apply the Studio Tech foundation and it's something that I really really love. It's all I use on clients for applying makeup is the Beauty Blender. Another thing that I have come to love is the e.l.f. concealer pencil and brush. It looks like this and there are three colors that it comes in. It comes in a light, medium, and deep, or dark, which is not very dark, but it is the color that I use. I use the darkest one. Um, this is what they look like. And they're great because they are very dry, and when you want to cover an area, uh, a, a small area, the drier the concealer, the better because it goes on in a maximum coverage and it's easy to pat right in your skin and it stays. So the pencil is a great option for concealer when you have a blemish area that you are trying to cover up. And I use these by e.l.f. on myself and for clients and it is um, perfect. They come with a little cap that has a pencil sharpener built in and on the other end they have a blending brush. Now I don't use the blending brush. I find that it's perfect or better to stipple with my finger because I can um, make sure that the concealer is set and then go back on and add a little more and set it rather than taking the brush because I feel like the brush will take my product off of the face that I've just applied. So I use my finger and stipple it. So that is the e.l.f. Concealer Pencil Brush, and like I said, it comes in three colors. They are $3 a piece. They're in the studio line of e.l.f., $3 a piece, but I got mine for 50% off. e.l.f. is always running coupons or um, promotions for 50% off the studio line. So you, I did get these for $1.50 a piece. And then my last favorite item is the polish that I've been wearing for my pedicure. It's actually um, lasted a very long time because I went um, a little longer between pedicures for some reason. And it's the Piggy Polish in the color Dream Out Loud. And it is a perfect pink color with um, a fine, very finely milled silver sparkle inside. And it looks like this. And I just love it. It's my first Piggy Polish and um, it won't be my last because I do like the formula and it will um, it will last a long time. So got this at Ulta, I think it was like eight dollars and um, that's it. So those were my five favorite products for the month of October and I hope you have a wonderful month ahead and thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.